You probably have this parasite inside of you right now. Isn't it adorable? No! It may sound bizarre, but it forms cysts in your brain and body. Therefore, in this video you will learn all you need about this organism and why you shouldn't be too worried. This parasite is called Toxoplasma gondii and is responsible for the widespread disease known as Toxoplasmosis. In certain regions, it's estimated that over half the population is affected. And in the US, around 40 million people have this parasite in their body. Come on bro, you're acting like a conspiracy nut. That is not scientific. SCIENCE! Ah! How do so many people have it? What the flip? There are three main reasons. Food, bad spawn and cats. Food, as in the consumption of infected meat or contaminated soil from veggies and water. Bad spawn, as in being born with this parasite. You see, in case a mom is infected just before or during pregnancy, the child might become infected as well, leading to a higher risk of miscarriage and a 50% chance of premature birth. <laughs> Children born with the parasite are rarely affected, but if the child is unlucky, it can cause congenital toxoplasmosis, leading to symptoms such as developmental issues, vision loss, jaundice, and more. Oh, in case you didn't know, jaundice is when your liver goes DO and turns your skin yellow. Because of all this, most pregnant women are tested to avoid these complications. You have tested positive, but worry not. Take these pills and you will be fine. Thanks. And that will be $1,000, thank you. Hmm. Oh, uh, I don't know. Lastly, cats. Cats are the only animals Toxoplasma can reproduce sexually inside of. By doing this, they produce sacs filled with infectious eggs called oocysts. Oocysts are basically capsules filled with new parasites. These capsules are then continually expelled alongside their poop for around two weeks, contaminating the nearby soil. And all warm-blooded animals who happen to eat or drink too close to this soil risk getting infected. Once consumed by an animal, they make their way into neural and muscle tissues, turning into cysts and bunkering down until they end up inside of a cat. And in some cases, they manipulate the behaviors of the host. Let me tell you about it. This is Steve, an upstanding and moral rat. On his way to rat work, he stumbles upon something interesting. Upon closer inspection, it would appear to be some delicious acorns. Without missing a beat, Steve starts gulping them down. Now... Unbeknownst to him, the acorns were sitting in infected soil. BAM! And he's infected. This is the story of a righteous rat and his degradation. Boring! I wanna know the end. Rude, but fine. This is Steve, some time later. He abandoned his rat family and is currently in some alleyway, trading his last acorn to fuel his addiction. C come on, dude. You, you said you got that g good shit. G give it to me. Now. Now. What do you offer in return? Here. T take it now. Wow. You have that g good, good stuff. Give it. Fine. We have a deal. Oh. Finally. <laughs> Unlike his dealer... Steve doesn't mind the looming danger in the distance, slowly approaching. Oh shit! Run! He has lost all fear of predators and is currently busy nice. in another reality. Nice. The pain is gone. Huh? You came back, man? You got some more good stuff. <laughs> And just like that, the cycle repeats itself. If larger animals get infected, the cyst will stay until death of old age, 
So make sure you cook your meat to 36 degrees Celsius to kill the parasites. <clears throat> now listen here you imbecile! And listen well! Do not eat it raw! You stupid stick man! You will amount to nothing! Manipulated by the parasite! Like a puppet! Look Gordon! It's a beef wellington! That looks bloody brilliant! Yeah, you want it right? Go get it boy! Get back here! So what happens when we humans host this parasite? For one thing, studies have correlated mental illnesses such as bipolar disease and schizophrenia with being infected. Also, it might make us more impulsive and change our behaviors in ways we don't fully understand yet. What would happen if I put my hand in there? Hmm. What the heck? So this parasite makes us crazy? No, not really. Although some people might be affected mentally, the link between them is not studied enough to draw any conclusion. Fair enough, but what about the crazy cat ladies then? They're just crazy bro. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for most people the parasite is actually harmless. The cysts may remain for a lifetime but they won't be able to cause infection as the immune system would kick their asses. Try it. However, if your immune system is impaired, the story is different. The inactive cysts can then activate and cause infections over and over again. Without treatment during these outbreaks, it often leads to severe eye damage and even death. So if you are immunocompromised or pregnant, I would recommend avoiding contact with cat litter and listening to what Gordon said. Damn, that's a lot to take in. I know, right? By the way, bro, is it time for our daily duel? <laughs> that's why I came here. Do you have the balls to face me? Yeah, I'm down, bro. But only if you want to get wrecked. Hey, by the way, Tim, do you think I have toxoplasmosis? <laughs> Don't we all, you silly ghost? Anyways, guys, I have to be a sweaty tryhard now, so I will see you in the next one. Bye!